It's Craig Bielek right here, Xfinity On Demand at Anime Bonsai. And I run into one of my favorite friends, this girl. If you guys do not recognize her, and you might not because she's in a different costume. She has been in how many uh, of our shows now? Five? I think so, yeah. Something like that. Tell, explain yourself today. Um, same character, but more... Um a little more mysterious with the hood. Yeah. So I got the fangs. Oh, the hood. The hood always adds mis mystery. Got my fangs still. When, when I want, oh yeah. Those are so cool. When I want to be mysterious, I add a hood. Always. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. And you're having a great time. And so am I. And we're about to go in right now to Anime Bonsai. What number of uh, anime bonsais is this for you? Third. Third. Yeah. There you go. It's so much fun, so I keep coming back. There you go. You know, if I ever go to an event and you're not there, I've got I gotta call you or something. <laughs> I mean, serious, I would be so disappointed. I know, because it's like now everything we have to do. It's like I think so. Skit. I think so. We're practically married. Yeah. We're married to the show. We're married. We're, we're one of those television marriages. Yeah. Thanks again. Let's go. Let's get into bonsai. Okay. Have fun. Hey, go on. I'm lucky enough to be joined by Kennedy here at Anime Bonsai, okay? And I, Kennedy, you got a lot of explaining to do to me, okay? Because I am a novice to all of this stuff. Tell us, tell me what this is about. How did you put this thing together? What's your role in it? All that stuff. Well, I am the press and media contact here at Anime Bonsai, but Bonsai takes hundreds and hundreds of hours of work from hundreds of volunteers that we get every single year. Those who show up at the con, those who work all year long for us. So, you know, I was just cruising through here and I saw two people, you know, just kind of average, you know, just like, you know, just like, you know, I just thought I'd pull over and just interview two average Joes that just look like everybody else. No, seriously, explain yourself. I don't know what to say other than we're completely normal. Yeah. There's nothing out of order here to me. Well, tell me what, tell me, because I don't know your costume. What is this? So I am Justicar Aatrox from League of Legends. Yeah. Yeah. And you? I'm not battle ready tier with the wrong hula hoop from Soul Calibur V. <laughs> okay. I wonder, can you actually talk through that? Yeah, I can. Oh, you can? Really? Tell me about this character. It's Desert Punk. He is a person who... Well, it's, it's in a post-apocalyptic world where he's basically... Well, it's in the name. <laughs> really? I, I thought I thought maybe you were I thought you maybe you were treating an Ebola patient or something. No. Are you sure? Yeah, I am pretty sure. Very cool. Well, you are armed, man. Gun, 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 canteen. <laughs> Yeah. Anime Bonsai is a Japanese cultural festival. We celebrate anime, anime culture, anime, manga, Japanese culture, cosplay, pretty much anything you can think of. We're going to take a moment to recognize it. I can see. I mean, the variety. Okay, I've been to Comic Con like five times, something like that. But the variety here is, is amazing. I mean, there just isn't any other word for it. How, how many people come to this thing? Well, every year we experience a growth between 10 and 25 percent. So this year we're expecting over 5,500 people. How long did it take to make that costume? I actually started the day after Comic-Con, so it's been like exactly one month. Yeah, yeah. And what is it made of? It's made out of those like floor foam tiles that kind of look like puzzle pieces. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> just molding them to fit. Really? And Cut. So are you guys here together, or did I just happen to stop? Happens to be my roommate that you picked out of the crowd. Your roommate? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll, bet, I'll bet he takes up a lot of closet space with all that, huh? He, more closet space than me, somehow. I, I would say. What do you want people else to know about your costume? Well, there's a really complicated back, not really. Yeah. Well, I could take off my cape, and there's a backpack that's really complicated. Sorry, this mic. Oh, you're taking off your cape for me. Thank you. I, you know, when you walked in, I kept thinking, I wonder what's under that cape. You dropped a gun. Oh, wow. There is like, yeah. Whoa. This is like really cool. Does that thing actually fire out no, of there? It doesn't. It does not. No. This is cool. Man, wait. We, we dropped a gun right there. 
That's pretty unsafe, you know, carrying around a gun that you could drop. True. This is really cool. Thanks for thanks for your time. No problem. All right. Last year we had five, over 5,300 and it was insane. Yeah. Filled to the brim with cosplayers, attendees, parents, kids, babies. I can see. I mean, seriously, this place is bursting right here. And I think you and I are the only... This is one of the reasons I was so comfortable when I saw you. You and I are the, like the only people not in costume here, you know? I mean, dress normal. I mean, I think. Or is this a costume? Well, I'm pretending to be an adult right now. But... <laughs> and you're doing a good job. Thank you. No, wait. I do have a costume. I just realized I'm Chicken Man. Look, guys. I'm a rooster. We actually have, most of our attendees do come in cosplay or costume or some sort of festive gear, but we actually have a lot of people who come through in plain clothes, street clothes, business attire, people who come straight from work to celebrate with us. A lot of parents, a lot of staff members do wear street clothes while we're here. What would you say to someone who, who doesn't know anything about anime, doesn't know anything about gaming? I mean, would they want to come to this? I think I think they should. I think everyone should give it a chance because it, it's a lot more fun than people think it would be. Yeah, I'm having fun. If you're into games, you should really just be yourself or anime or comics or anything. The biggest thing is just being yourself here because you can tell when someone's trying a bit too hard. So as long as you're having fun, that works. And it works on that, huh? I'm just guessing, okay? But I would imagine you three are sisters. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Really? Yes. And you're here at, at Japanese Bonsai with, is that dad right there? Yeah, that's my dad. Really? He has the weirdest looking costume I have ever seen. <laughs> he, has a, he didn't wear a costume. He's not in costume? I am so sorry. I am embarrassed. Oh, man. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but you guys are in costume, right? Yes. Really? Okay, so what about the people at home that'll be watching this later and they're thinking, man, hot diggity dog, I got to get a piece of that. How will they find out about next year's anime bonsai? How will they find out? I mean, is this a, a yearly thing, an ongoing thing? What is this? What is this? This is actually our 10th anniversary. We are celebrating our birthday right now. Really? You're 10 years old. We are 10 years old. And you are pretending to be an adult. We do act like it, huh? But um, we do multiple events throughout the year, including gaming tournaments, cosplay meetups, artist meetups, a lot of different things. And those are all accessible through our uh, Facebook page, Anime Bonsai. And we also do a lot of media pushes. We have a social media network that we use to tweet, Facebook, Tumblr. We're, we have a large presence. Who kissed your cheek? At uh, that, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm serious. She got it. She got it. You see that? She got it. Like on, on, the, on that kind of stuff. Well, we'll let you two roommates, you know, go and, and have fun because this is what it's all about. You're not here to talk to me, right? Uh, well, it's always part of it. Yeah, yeah. This is cool. Look. Any exposure is well appreciated. And what is your costume? I'm just made up. I just... Yeah, fox. Be fox. Fox, okay. All right. Is, is, is bonsai fun? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah? Well, and now, I, it's, it's different for me now that I know your dad is not in a costume. <laughs> I still think he's weird looking, though. Yeah. <laughs> we actually picked up every piece of these costumes here at the bonsai. Say that again? We picked up every piece of these costumes at the bonsai, trying to make up their Chris, the Halloween costumes and have fun at the same time. Oh, you know, that's a good idea. So you came here to get your Halloween costume. Yeah. Yeah. What color is your hair, really? My hair's, um, like, Indian red. Like, it is red. It's, like, uh -huh. red. You know, I like your real hair better. Yeah, I just wanted long. I'm brave. Just want to do something different, huh? We also work um, with a charity. Our Maid Cafe is completely nonprofit, as is the rest of it. However, all the proceeds we get from that event, we do take right back and put into charity. Sweet. So you're here with a purpose on top of everything else. Yeah, we like to bring people together. It creates a great community. All right, what should we not miss here? I would absolutely make sure that you hit the cosplay contest, which is happening later today. The AMV contest, which is the animated music extravaganza that our attendees submit their submissions to for the last basically three weeks. All right. What are you doing? We're playing Pac-Man. Pac-Man? Really? The Pac-Man? Yes. Yeah. This is an old game. Did you know that? Yep. Yeah. Like before you were born? Yeah. Like... Almost any game was probably before you were born. <laughs> yep. Guess what? Are you, how old are you? 12? 13. 13. Okay, I got it wrong. Is Pac-Man fun? Yes. And this is just a free gaming place you can come? Yeah. You like anime bonsai? Yeah. You know, I'm going to have to interview you more. You're fascinating. <laughs> I am? 
<laughs> so what do you think of my hair? Mm, it's nice. It's nice? Okay. What a sweet girl. All right, look into that camera right there and say, you're watching Xfinity On Demand. You're watching Xfinity On Demand. Very good. Can you say that? You're watching Xfinity On Demand. Can you say that? You're watching Xfinity On Demand. Man, you guys are pretty good. Say this now. I want to give the interviewer a $10 bill. <laughs> good try. <laughs> Man, you guys were doing well, and all of a sudden you just blew it. Walking around the convention is actually probably the biggest attraction here. You get to see people interacting with each other. You see people taking pictures, showing off their hard-earned cosplays. People put those together by hand. They spend hours and hours choosing and styling and making. Okay. Well, that's what we're going to do. I'll bet you. I'll bet you that... I'll bet you I get stopped by a dozen people saying, yo, Chicken Man, right on, my favorite character. Be ready to sign some autographs. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready right now. So I ran into this interesting lady, and you, did you just sketch that? Yes. Uh, really? And is this, is this your own character? Is this, uh, oh, wait, is that guy sitting right over there, is it? No, I'm just bored. But it oh. could be him. But it could be. That's right. This is really cool. I mean, is this what you do? Is this your talent? Yeah, I draw a lot. Yeah. Explain your character. I'm Brago from Zatch Bell. Yes, you certainly are. I have no idea what that is. I'm completely pretending. Explain that. Um, Zatch Bell is a series that was popular probably about a decade ago. Ten I'm years ago? Yeah. That was before I was born. I wouldn't know. guess I'm older than you. But... <laughs> Fine, fine. $10, that's cheap, man. Advertising on television is expensive. I just gave you guys all this time on TV. What? <laughs> you're watching Xfinity On Demand. You're watching Xfinity On Demand. No, you're. You're. Yeah, those guys out there, not me. Uh, I'm not watching. You're, they're watching. Uh, okay. Are you confused? Yeah. Good, give me $10. No. <laughs> So um, I, she just pulled me over and said, I want to ask a question. What do you want to ask? Um, I just wanted to see what station you guys are on. I'm an Xfinity fan. You know, I, I do have Comcast myself, so. There you go. So where do you live? Um, I live all the way down in Magna. Magna. Are we in Magna? No way. The yeah, he says we are. <laughs> we are in Magna. What channel? Leighton Parkway is where six. we're at. No, no, we're, uh, we're in Magna on Channel 6. No, we're not. Yeah, you are. Look, go ahead and say, hey, you're watching Xfinity On Demand. You're watching Xfinity On Demand. Even in Magna. Even in Magna. Yeah, we can do it. It's, it's not called Xfinity On Demand in Magna, okay? It's called Xfinity because that's what I want. Because that's what I want, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Xfinity, that's what I want. Xfinity, that's what I want. Or On Demand, depending on what you're doing. Um, pretty much I'm a demon who comes to Earth and is trying to win his place to be king of the Momotos. Uh -huh. All right, very good. What is this that you're drawing then? Just a person. So is this is just like a sit down and draw, right? I mean, anybody can draw anything here that they want. Yeah, I, I was pretty excited. I love drawing. Really? Really? Are you uh, pursuing this as a career? Yeah, I'm going to get my art major. Serious? Where from? USU. Really? Well, I think that you're pretty talented. So I could just I could just sit here and draw anything I wanted to, right? Yeah. I mean, just if I if I wanted to. Okay, now don't 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 criticize too much here. Okay, don't judge just yet, till I get this thing done. Are you ready? All right. Man, check it out. Look at these costumes. Okay, are you guys? Is this one theme or what is this? Explain. No. So we are League of Legends. I am Zyra and he's Malzahar. Uh, so I'm a a skin which is a like a special you can get for a character. Yeah. So that is, um, that's my character. And then this is Link from Zelda. Aha, uh -huh. well, this one I recognize, okay? I don't know. Ow, I keep getting poked. I mean, <laughs> you have a dangerous costume. Shh, don't, don't, don't. That's probably how you keep men away from you, right? It's like, <laughs> and there's blood. I mean, is that like real blood? It is. It happens. <laughs> how fun is Anime Bonsai? Oh, it's super fun. You know, this is, this is the one day a year uh, fans of any sort of... Uh, cartoon or animation can just get together and be themselves, you know. I work up at the hospital 
and you know it's kind of weird for someone in my career to be enjoying this stuff so you know it's <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute what do you mean it's weird for somebody who works at a hospital to enjoy themselves well you know sometimes there are like like people who are secretive about this stuff because people are like oh that's weird you know anime is cartoon you watch cartoons at your age yeah. absolutely not you know uh, anime to me is basically nothing more than an animated equivalency of a film there's so many different types of genres that you know and it's great to see the art style that original you know movies can't do what do you think what do you think so far what do you think huh how are we doing how are we doing am, am i doing it okay is this is this a concept of it yeah all right looks like half the characters here no. uh it does doesn't it it kind of it kind of does look like him doesn't it there you go what do you think what do you think gorgeous gorgeous can you improve on it i mean do you want to do something to it no it's already perfect all right there we go look at that i should sign it shouldn't i here we go ready yeah baby how about it awesome not as awesome as that though thanks for spending time chatting with us today yeah thank you yeah i wish i'd been around when your character was on tv i'd have known then hey <laughs> reruns <Okay>. no <laughs> This is so dangerous. What would you say to somebody that's not coming to anime? Well, don't worry about the props. They're not that dangerous. And they have rules and stuff. You're not going to get stabbed. Um, but yeah, they're really fun. Come out. Have a good time. Especially if you've got hobbies like anime or video games, TV. Just come out and have fun. She says you're not going to get stabbed, but I'm telling you, I did. I'm telling you, this is dangerous. Is that sort of dangerous? Only a little. No. <laughs> Only a little? Oh. Why did you choose this for your costume? Uh, it's been a big part of my life. Uh, ever since a little kid, I started playing Zelda, and now I found a way to express myself by... Ever since you were a little kid? Ever since I was... Like three years ago. You should see the sword. <laughs> At least two and a half. <laughs> At least. I like these guys. They have a good sense of humor. I enjoy coming down here once a year. It's kind of like the otaku's haven. You know, that is a really good way to explain all this, because I think a lot of people would go, you know, this... This isn't this isn't serious. This isn't anything to listen to or follow or anything like that. But you kind of explained it. You made it you made it as as plausible as a girl with pink furry ears could. Oh, I certainly hope so. My original costume's getting fixed, but uh, this is basically the, the otaku basic. But did you have to take do you have to take you had to get your costume fixed? Oh yeah. Are there repair shops for costumes on a magnet? There's actually like everyone on every corner. Like you pull in, no waiting. Get your costume fixed today. Well, there's actually a fixing station right behind us really yeah it's the anime repair station there's plenty of you know makeup wires uh, i just saw that we're gonna go over and chat with them there you go what's your costume uh, i don't have a costume but i'm decked out with all my talk with as much otaki gear as i could find this morning in my house what is what what kind of gear is that what do you mean okay i have my goggles yeah uh crust of friendship my friend my best friend made for my birthday yeah my derpy t-shirt yeah i have my full metal alchemist the crystal compact I just bought this morning. You just got that this morning. Is it is a compact? Is there real makeup in it? No, it's just it's just got a little plastic thing in it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. don't drop it! Don't drop it! Even on TV. Oh, it really is a compact. It has a mirror. What about you? What do you have to say about yours? Mine? Well, I just want an easy cosplay, something comfortable. Yeah. Some of these guys, uh, I give props to them because their cosplays don't look like they're comfortable to walk around in. Oh, yeah. I've seen some stuff that is definitely not com uh, not comfortable. Yeah. So. I just wanted something that's comfortable, yeah. character I like, that yeah. kind of thing. How long did it take you to make this costume? Because you didn't go to JCPenney and buy this or anything, right? I didn't, no. Um, so I actually, I made this for the last Comic-Con, so that just happened. Uh, and then we, like my mom, she's really creative. She helped me touch it up and we made this with Warbla, uh, Warbla. And then this, we actually took rope and we wrapped fabric around it and duct tape over and over. And then, uh, yeah, and then put the spikes in. So are they mechanics? I mean, is that what you call them? They could be. I don't know. Mine is just made out of wire, so uh, I need my, my poor hangers in my costume are getting brittle with age, so yeah. it needs a lot of plier work. So okay. while right. doing this... Well, this is awesome. I like this girl. Well, thank you. I enjoy, I enjoy Comcast very much. Very good. Very <laughs> good. Comcast on demand. Comcast On Demand. Because I want it when I want it. Because I want it when I want it. And I want it now, and you're going to give it to me. And I want it now, and you're going to give it to me. You can't say that on TV. Sure I can. <laughs> TV's nothing more than just internet for internet live sometimes. And I even have my Full Metal Alchemist pocket watch. Yeah. Is this fun? 
It's my third year going, and only the second time I've gone all three days, so I'm going the full weekend. So you, you are having fun. What's the best part? Uh, probably all the panels. The panels. Oh, yeah, the, the paneling on the walls. Is that what you're talking about, no, the panel? Uh, no, the panels that are in the rooms. Oh, yeah, panels. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought you meant, like, you know, the paneling and all that. <laughs> I, I was going to say, it's really nice. I wouldn't call it fun, but it is nice. But you're talking about talking the celebrities and all that speak. Yeah. Who do you like to see today? Vic Nignagna. Me too. You got those spikes, which are not dangerous. She's pointed that out a couple of times. Yeah. These things are not dangerous. <laughs> They're a little. I'm scared. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just it just took a lot of time. Uh, but I, you just put some time in and you can make it. I would say maybe four weeks like total of yeah. days. But is this your only costume, or do you have do you own others? I have two others, but this is my third con and my third costume, I guess. Very good, very good. What are you going to do with it afterwards? You chucking it, or can I borrow it, I guess, is what I'm asking. You, you, he would look good in this. No, I have to shave my stomach. I can tell you That's that right true. And That's you, probably going to gross like you out. But. <laughs> you know, personally, I love his work. I, I agree, 100%. Edward Elric. Oh, absolutely. Christopher from my... Digimon. He's probably my favorite of the Lone Wolf. For sure. And I, you know, I agree with everything you say. <laughs> I actually don't know any of those people. <laughs> I always enjoy hearing some of those short rants because those can get funny. Well, there you go. Well, you hear that? I'm funny. That's right, folks. I'm funny. Chicken Man is funny. That's, that's my costume. I'm Chicken Man. <laughs> that sounds interesting. <laughs> My well, best friend actually came as Willy Wonka today. Really? I gotta find Willy Wonka. Thank you for talking with us. You're welcome. All right. My mom made the wedding dress, and that was quite a number of years ago. No, so I'm, I'm serious. This is your, this is your wedding dress. Yes, this is my wedding dress. It's and you converted it. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yep. Your mom made your wedding dress. Yes, she did. And this is a couple of her bracelets, and this is her wedding ring. And I just lost her this past May, so I thought I would kind of bring her to Anime Bonsai this year. Would she have liked coming to Anime Bonsai? No, way too many people. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You would look great in a bodysuit. All right, there you have it. There we go. You know what? We should uh, put him in a bodysuit. Your camera guy? Uh, Our camera guy in a bodysuit. Camera guy in a bodysuit. Oh, man, there are some things that cannot be unseen. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. You, you, would not, you would not get over that. with it, it would take years of therapy. All right. Well, fair enough. I guess I'll just keep wearing it then. All right. Sweet. I love this. I love this costume, even though it's dangerous. <laughs> I swear it's dangerous. You know, it's only a little. Yeah. So this is one of the most interesting things I've run into in a long time. This is the repair station for costume. Yep. They started it about four years ago as a little tiny room. Then about three years ago, they actually gave us a table. Just a few small repairs. And then... Uh, last year, we made them a list of things to bring, and they gave us everything. They, Anime Bonsai pays for all the supplies. We do not bring a thing. Seriously, so there's no charge? No charge. So if I get, like, a blowout in my costume, you guys... Come here, you get something that rips, something that tears. We've had shoes fall apart, everything. We've got duct tape, safety pins, hot glue, glue sticks, sewing supplies. We've even had to wire some of the props that fall apart, wire them, and duct tape them, and we have it all. So this is not just a costume, this is very sentimental. I know you told me about the robe, all that sort of thing. Explain your character. Um, I try to do my characters off of uh, the anime style RPGs that I do, and just not necessarily a specific character, but just maybe a character that might be in an upcoming game or maybe one that I might see roaming around in one of those games or something. Sweet. And you do RPG? Yes. Rocket propelled grenade. You're dangerous. You're a terrorist. You heard it right here, folks. No. So what does RPG stand for then? Role playing games. You know, this, this is my granddaughter. She's here from Reno. Serious? Absolutely. Yeah. She, she is an anime fan from the get go. Yeah. And. Uh, we're just happy to be here. I'm happy. And you joined her. This is my this is my first an, uh, Comic Con, Anime Con, and uh, here I am, Makarov Dreyar, and, and, you, and I'm having a great time. <laughs> well, you should be. You should be. This is a this I'll bet means a lot to a lot of people here. Let's them finish their weekend. They think after something happens, that's it. They can't do 
play in their costume anymore. So this allows them to enjoy the rest of the weekend. So what's the most unusual thing you've done that you can think of? Last night we had a mad mob for the duct tape right before the formal con the formal dance. They weren't allowing anyone to go in unless they had black formal shoes. So some of the kids in tennis shoes came over and covered their shoes with black duct tape. Aha, uh -huh, they found a workaround. Yeah, and we went through about three or four rolls of black duct tape last <laughs> night. So The role-playing games that I play have a lot of mythological references from various cultures, and it's usually a type of save the world theme. Um, a lot of environmental issues, you know, accepting responsibility for your own action, the hero's quest. Those types of things. Responsible stuff. Yes. Who'd have thought bonsai and anime could be so responsible? Yep, it is. Yep. And I also try to do play them in Japanese because I prefer, prefer the Japanese voice actors. Really? Do you speak Japanese? Uh, very, very little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so explain your costume to somebody out there that might not know. Um, well, he doesn't entirely know, but he's cosplaying as Makarov from Fairy Tail. He's the Fairy Tail gim. Um, Guildmaster. Guild okay, you are you are Guildmaster, and you are from Reno. I, I'm from Reno. Well, not my cosplay, but um, I'm cosplaying as Trickster John from Homestuck. Ah, I thought you were from Candyland. You know that game? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. I mean, serious. You you can tell people you're from Candyland. No. It's not very cool, but you could tell people that. We fix wigs. We fix makeup. We've got nail polish. I can see you fixing makeup over right here on on that nice girl, and you've got all kinds of stuff. We've got wig caps to help people who don't have a wig cap and their wig's falling off. We've got bobby pins. Pretty much everything you can imagine to help, you know, Velcro. This is something I didn't know existed. How do you get a job here? Do you have to be a mechanic? No, you just... We, I start, I've been sewing for years, and me and my husband were at a medieval recreation group making costumes. He fought in armor, so we kind of are already doing this kind of stuff anyway. Our daughter got into this, anime. And so we came to volunteer one year, and that's how it happened. And I said we could help at the, at the repair station, and that's how it began. Well, the reason I wanted to chat with you was you're also a volunteer here. Is that correct? Yes. What is your responsibility? I help uh, Joe Monson at the information table and take lost and found items and that type of thing. All right. So if somebody like loses like their trident or something like that, then they could they would bring it to you and you would find its owner. Yes. Or their staff, or their cell phone, or their sword. Yeah. How many hours you put into this? Um, I'm here about from noon to six, six thirty. Uh -huh. And why? Because I love dressing up. Yeah. I love coming to the conventions. I don't get to do much else, so this is an outlet for me. What a good grandpa to bring you. Yeah, he is. He is a really awesome grandpa. I really appreciate him taking me here. Sure. Are you having fun, Grandpa? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Is this what you would choose to do on a Saturday? I mean, uh huh. I've, I've, yeah. yeah. It, it, this is this is colorful, and and I'm learning all sorts of stuff about anime. Me too. I didn't know anything about it at all. Uh, yeah. So this is incredible. I never ever thought about this. Yep. It's awesome, and the costumes are amazing. So many talented kids. Oh yeah. Handmade costumes. Yeah. They are just amazing. Yeah. So we just try to keep them going all weekend until they can get them home to make major repairs. Well, that's really cool. Okay, I, I'm going to keep this in mind. Should anything go wrong with my costume here today? This is the place to go. This is where I'm coming. Yep. Okay, yeah. sounds great. Thank you. <laughs> that's yeah, a good use for a wedding dress. I wonder if I can talk to my daughter. I mean, my daughter's wedding dress is in my closet right now. You have no idea how much money I paid for a closet decoration. Now, you want to know what this cost? $13. Really? Yes. And you did get married a long time ago. No, my <laughs> mother made it. It's out of Deluxe Kiana. I, I, was, I was thinking, man, I, how long ago was it you could buy a wedding dress for $13, you know? She, she, had, to, she had to take the Viking ship into town for it. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for the time. Thank you marvelously. Thank you. Yeah. Look how antsy she is to get going. She's just like, let's go, Grandpa. This, this let's is go see Attack on the Titans. Aha, <gasps> uh -huh, my son lent me that. It's awesome. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I can't see the rest of the seasons until next um, summer, apparently. Okay. We'll get going then. Grandpa, good job. Right. See you later. You got to talk. 
You know, it's not every day that I see Zebra Man. Oh, yeah. Um, this is from Resident Evil 5. A spe- Serious. Yeah. Serious. You know, have you ever heard about Zebra Man from the heavy metal documentary? Uh, no, I haven't. Go home and look it up on the web. Oh, okay. I- you won't wear this again. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no. So, um, explain. Why are you guys in line? Because we're waiting for the Attack on Titan panel. The Attack on Titan panel. Is that it over there? Yep. Really? Is this the start of the line or the end of the line? This is the start. I just butted right in line. Watch this. I'll get right in front of this guy. See what celebrity can do to you? You can't say you can't say anything to me. I'm on TV. I can just bud right in line. Get behind me. Come on. Get behind me. Behind. Back. Farther. Farther. There. I'm number one in line. That's how you do it. That's the way you throw your weight around when you're on TV. Well, you know, this is what happens at this kind of a thing. Walking down the hall, I saw this costume. I said, sir, can we talk? And you said, sure. <laughs> and that's when I realized you're not exactly a sir. Yeah, that happens. But your character is a sir. Yes. Sir Walter Raleigh? Uh, Captain James Hook. Captain Hook, of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. Duh, God. Duh. You know? Is this fun, guys? Is this a good time? Oh, yeah. I'm having lots of fun. What are you looking forward to here today? Um, just all the different cosplays. Mostly people just taking pictures right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. A lot of things to photograph, right? To what? A lot of things to photograph. Oh, yeah. There's sure. a little... It's hard to hear in here. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, it's really hard. I'll tell you what, though. Next time, I'm wearing this. All right. <laughs> Why would you get in line to see something like this? Because it's a really awesome show. Really? Explain what this show is. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually dragged I've here by us. He what? Oh, he he's never seen it? No, he no. was dragged here by us. He's... Oh, he just was with you guys. Yep, yep. Yeah. Right. They dragged yep. me along. Yeah. They dragged you along. You didn't want to really come, but you did. I was interested, so they're like, come. I'm like, okay. Yeah. All right. So explain this show. <laughs> it's an attack on this place called Titan, I guess. <laughs> so this place called a Titan gets attacked? Sure. Did you make this costume? I did, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's really, really cool. Uh, thank you. It took a lot of work. Yeah. What color is your hair, actually? Blonde. So this is like, look at this, you guys. That is a lot of hair. It is. It's yeah. really heavy. What's Japanese? What, what, what is, how does this fit with Japanese anime and bonsai? It doesn't. Hey, listen. Why, hey, listen. Because I am your guide, and you, I know everything. You do? Serious. So, what is your character, then? I am Navi the Fairy from the Legend of Zelda series, Ocarina of Time. Uh-huh. And uh, I am Link's guide. I help him through the dungeons. I help him, basically, keep uh, on track with his uh, quests. Uh-huh. So, and it's just basically, the concept is that I am your friend and guide. You're my friend and my guide. Your friend and your guide. And the Tidians fight back? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Who attacks them? Naked people. Giant naked people. <laughs> giant naked. Now I am in line. <laughs> naked people. No. Come on. Do a better job. Okay. So there's a town and there's these big walls that protect him from the Titans. The Titans are actually the big naked people that run around and kill all the people. He was not kidding. There's big naked people. They're not technically Basically. naked. They, they don't have any like reproductive organs to show, but they're just like big skinned, veiny, veiny oh, yeah, okay. monsters. But it's a cool costume. Right. And you get to wear it and come down. You also go to Comic-Con? Uh, I went to their um, span experience, but I didn't go to Comic-Con itself. Yeah. Yeah. I'll bet a lot of people are wanting to take your photo. Um, yeah, I've had a few. Uh, I had more when I did Rufio from the same movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have been stopping me, and it's really fun. People are probably afraid of Captain Hook, I would think. Ah, uh, you know, he's actually got a lot of fans. There you go. I'm a fan now. I'm a big fan. Thank you, Captain Hook. You're welcome. What should I see here, friend and guide? You should definitely see uh, the cosplay contest. A lot of the uh, costumes and skits are really good. Yep. Uh, I definitely recommend Bonsai on Broadway. The, some of the ideas that people do there are actually kind of cool, too. Whoa, whoa, what's that? Bonsai on Broadway? It's actually kind of a new thing. It's... Um, I'm trying to think, it's maybe like three or four years old. And basically, if you are singing or dancing, 
you will go perform on Bonsai on Broadway because, you know, those skits usually take my, more than anything that takes longer than five minutes to do, they recommend Bonsai on Broadway. So that's what defines naked is if you have organs? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> well, I, could, I could take off my clothes and I wouldn't be naked then. All right. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so then they attack. Yes, and so they attack and they break through the walls and they kill a bunch of people and then the main point of the show is it's following kind of like this army and this military and yeah. the military fighting back against the titans and driving them away and stuff like Why that. Why are they attacking you? I mean, are they looking for clothing or? Food. Food source. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, humans are their food source. Humans are their food. Mm -hmm. There's a possibility that I could get eaten by a giant naked guy? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> All right, there. Explain your character. So I'm uh, Super Boo from Dragon Ball Z. And people know you. Yeah, yeah, I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of requests for pictures, so it's made me feeling very model-esque. How did you make this? So this is um, a foam undercoat, and then there's batting and cotton on top, bodysuit, and we sewed the vest and yoga pants. And how long did it take? About 80 hours. Of 80 is serious, 8 oh hours. Yeah, 8 zero. <laughs> So. so, I just pulled these three guys over here, and they have no idea why. They think I'm going to try and give them some candy or something like that. They're kind of afraid. But no, no, here's the reason I pulled you over, okay? My son is here in costume today, and uh, when you guys walked in today, you saw him and you sang him a song. Do you remember? Yes, you did. Let's have a repeat. Are you ready? Come on, do it. Do it. Look, there he is right there. There he is right there. So some girl just rode past and like put a curse on you or something. Is that from the game or what is that? I'm serious. She just rode by. That girl just rode by and she went like something like that. That scared me. Oh, it's probably towards me. Nobody likes this character. <laughs> is that right? Serious. How could nobody like the friend and the guide? Because a, a lot of the times throughout the game you'll hear, hey, listen, hey, hey. So it gets annoying after a while. So a lot of so people are reacting like, oh, with such disdain and hatred. I saw that. I've never I've never seen that before. Well, you guys have done an awesome job, and you know nothing personal, but as far as a, as far as a narrator goes for this show, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll make him watch it. It's on this list. All right, Very good. This is a big line, and you guys are going to be right up front. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. We're excited. Well, if there's going to be naked people. I'd be up front. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I'd be, I'd, want, I'd be wanting to be sitting close. But it's been worth it because everybody wants your picture. Look, that girl right there wants your picture. Yeah, I suppose she does. I feel wanted, which is nice. <laughs> which is really nice. Yeah. Now, what are you going to do with it after you're done? I'm going to keep it, maybe let the kitty snuggle with it. Serious? Yeah. Wear it out like on a Saturday night, you know, and you like go to dinner with the wife. You know, a little uh, speedo, a little vest action. <laughs> Show us your talents. Come on. I want to be the very best, but no one ever was. To catch them is my real test, to train them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. I love you personally. Oh, thank I you. love you. She's my friend. She's my guide. We're here at the Davis Anime Bonsai, and man, are we having some fun. Yes! <laughs> thank so you. Fun. Thank you, friend and guy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. What would you say to somebody that doesn't understand anime or bonsai and, and is just probably not interested in coming to there? Are they missing out? Uh, yeah, I think they are. This is a really good place to come learn about Japanese culture. That's their whole aim of this convention is to have people come, learn about things, uh, kind of experience the culture. Uh, people here would be willing to answer questions and things like that. So this is a good place to come learn if you're interested. So. Sweet! Sweet. There you heard it, right from Boo. Super Boo. Yeah. <laughs> boo who? Boo who. That was terrible. Thanks, Boo. Thanks. And your character, sir? I am Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't own a sewing machine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, seriously, I mean, you could... So. <laughs> have you ever heard of a ham? <laughs> no, no. I know nothing about sewing. So. Well, this is a fun interview. You guys are all right. And I, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to see Attack of the Titans. I'm going to miss all the naked people. Are you over 18? No, I'm not. You can't watch this. <laughs> what? Since when? There's no way. There's no way. Get the sensors in here. I want action. These Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon gotta catch them all. You and me. I know it's my destiny. Pokemon, ooh, you're my best friend. In a world we must defend. All right, sweet, sweet. Um, that was awesome. Did you guys, so that song's from Pokemon, right? Yes, and as a Pikachu walk. Yeah, and that guy right over there is the creator. He wrote that song. He'd like to talk to you guys about some legal action. 
Okay. Right <laughs> here. <laughs> You're not allowed to perform that song without it. Awesome, guys. Thanks. Well, there you have it, folks. Anime Bonsai right here at the Davis Conference Center. This is a lot of fun. I'm Craig Bielik. I'm your crowd surfing host. I've had a good time today. I hope I'll be seeing you all soon. This is my kind of place. <laughs>